Hey Aries, where are we going this week? What's going on? Where are we going? Okay, so Ace of Wands, this keeps wanting to come out. Haven't asked any questions and I'm not playing that game. So I feel like you're not in the mood for games this week either. Good. All right, let me get comfortable. I tell you what, I tell you what. All right, anyway, you don't need to know my problems. I'm here for your problems. <laughs> okay, let's see what we got. All right, somebody getting on your nerves, somebody annoying you, okay? Yeah, probably, most likely. Okay, there's a star. Why do I keep feeling like there's something on my face? Queen of Swords keeps coming out. Some of these rings over here. <sighs> it's kind of in the reverse, but I want to take it in the upright. Let's see. Oh, Three of Pentacles. Hmm. Okay, so eventually, but you're not ready yet. Something's not working right now. You're full of hope. There could be something brand new that you're starting. Okay. And maybe you need help with it, but you know what? Here's my suggestion. Here's what I'm getting. Whatever this is, don't give up on it, okay? It's like a lot of times when we go through life and we do something that feels very difficult or very, very hard, we would just kind of want to give up and not work with it and not give it a try, scrap it, and then go on to something else. It might seem a little bit easier. This time, don't. Don't. This can be from a range of different things. Okay? This could be a new car, a new piece of equipment. Going from Apple to, <coughs> excuse me, going from Apple to Android. <laughs> okay? You're not used to something. It's very different. You probably need help. And you're probably like really, really angry or uh, annoyed, upset, butthurt about it. Try something new. Stick with it. As of right now, you don't have the help that you need. It will come though eventually. In fact, whatever this is, you're probably gonna find a whole community or a few different people that are, you know, had the same issue and, and will be able to assist you. So don't give up, all right? Whatever this is, is what you want. It's what you wish for. This, whatever this thing is, it's going, it's going to be something that's going to actually uplift and elevate you. Okay. Just have fun. Just have fun. It's, it's reminding me of like having a new car or a new gadget. That's what it's reminding me of. And you don't really know fully how to work it. It's out of our comfort zone. And it's something is being taken so seriously. Just a little bit each day. You know? Oh, what does this button do? <laughs> you know? I'm not used to navigating these turns. I don't know how to work this device. Well, I would say I don't know about Apple. But like I, I did mention something about going from Apple to, to Android. And if it's the other way around, you're used to having a back button and you go to Apple and you're like, where's the back button? <laughs> I know for me, when people are friends of mine that have, you know, they have the, uh, the Apple and I'm like, I'm like, what do I do on this thing? <laughs> there's, there's no, how do you live without a back button? It's like that. Okay. So it's okay. Pace yourself. You'll, you'll figure everything out. Whatever this new up level is. Okay. I'm literally, literally getting something like going from Apple to Android. So somebody could be doing that. Um, don't come at me in the comments. I don't care. I don't, I don't, I don't want to hear anyone's. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it anyway. But yeah, it's something like that. Whatever this new thing is that you're doing, this like transition or the, it's like a level up. 
you know, it's time to come out of the stone age and get into something different, something new, something fresh. Learn something new. All right. I don't know why I had to go down that rabbit hole, but somebody needed to hear that. All right. This is Tennisaurs looking at me. Yeah. I'm going to say, you know, don't... I personally say whatever it is, whatever this is, stick with it. This is just, <laughs> seriously, whatever this is, it could be much more complicated than this. Okay. It could be like having a new child, a brand new mom or something. Okay. A new, something new where you don't know how to deal with it. You don't know how to work it and you're afraid. Don't. Sometimes we're thrust into things that we can't help and it just, it just is what it is. I'm going to say, so like, even like with the example of, let's say it's a new device or something like that. It's, I feel like there could be like a forum or a community. And that's what this looks like. Contacting the manufacturer or maybe other people, you know, <laughs> a warranty. What is this? What is this, Aries? I don't know. <laughs> you tell me. All right. Why am I digging into this? Read the instructions. Read the instructions. to make sure I reiterate this. Anything in this reading that makes no sense to you, let it go. It's not yours. Okay? It's no big deal. If something isn't making sense to you or it's confusing in any way, shape, or form, chances are it's not yours. Or somehow maybe you just haven't been able to, it hasn't really snapped into place. Okay? When we say take whatever resonates, that's what we, that's what we mean. We, you don't force anything. If you actually have to use energy and brain power to see if a reading actually fits, you've already defeated yourself. Anyone that knows what this message is, there's no question. Okay? So. And also, these messages can be taken literally or metaphorically. Okay? That's what tarot is. It's very, very poetic. You're supposed to basically read between the lines and get the wisdom, extract the wisdom from it. Okay, so remain open and just, again, extract the wisdom from it. Maybe you can learn something from this. Maybe something will go ding, ding, ding. Oh, that's the answer I needed. Even though I didn't say exactly what it was or answer your question directly, something I may say may spark the answer that you need. Okay, that's the beauty of tarot. Okay, so... I'm not supposed to be sitting here predicting your life and telling you you're supposed to do this, this, and this. That's not what we're supposed to do, okay? So, now. <sighs> yeah. I'm just gonna put it like this. I'm gonna wrap this with a nice bell. This is about stepping out of your comfort zone. Maybe you're not used to taking chances with certain things. Um, and this could be for a specific group of, of Aries. Maybe there are certain things that just like, you, you stick with the tried and true. You know it works because you know you're successful at it. And we know that Aries love to win, okay? They love to be successful. And if they're going into something unknown, maybe it's a little uncomfortable for them, okay? It's very possible. So... I feel like whatever this is, something's going to definitely broaden and expand your horizons. I definitely see a lot of success. Okay. What is this? Hmm. No. It's just a doubtful behavior. It's just a doubtful behavior. Also, I have to make sure I'm doing something different. YouTube likes this format, so I'm trying a few different things. I'm... Uh, it, uh, I just, I'm just doing a few different things. Okay, I'm making a lot of modifications. So it's either you see me or you see the table. You can't have both, apparently. Um, unfortunately, I'd rather be a little bit more personable. So I like it like this. Um, it's either this or the camera is pushed back about 10 feet and you see like the entire room and you, it's, it's like, you know, it just, it's just, it's not as personal. I like to be a little bit more personal. Okay. 
So I opt to do it this way. If you've been with me long enough, you know the how I am with the cards. You know I always do my best to make sure you see the cards. Okay. Ace of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Swords. Four of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles. Something is being sidetracked. Something is being sidetracked. So if you've been waiting to hear something about it, so it's like th there's something here about distractions. There could be a lot going on that you're needing to take care of. There could be something brand new that you're stepping into, but then there's some old stuff is kind of coming back. And somebody's like you're clearing a path. Okay. Something's trying to keep you stuck in the past. Something's trying to keep you stuck in the past. So whatever this message is, is presenting to me through a scenario of upgrading electronic equipment, okay? Or going from something old to new, getting rid of an old car. You know, let's say you were driving a car from the 50s and now you're in a brand new 2024. It's going to be very different, okay? A lot of different things. So there's definitely something here a, about an upgrade to some degree. However, metaphorically, that can be um, aligned or attributed to whatever it is that you're going through. So again, extract the wisdom from this. It's about the message as a whole. So with that, here is basically your... I get, <laughs> It's going to sound funny. You've probably never heard me say this before because <laughs> I don't talk like this. Here's your oracle for this week. Okay. Um, as strange as that sounds, here's your oracle for this week. Hmm. It's the saying. I just got this. I just got this saying. I, I, I don't know who it is that said it, but it's what if everything you ever wanted is on the other side of fear? Okay. So with that is anything new or uncomfortable, something out of your norm is a good thing. There's something that you're about to level up with, upgrade. There's going to be an upgrade in your life somehow, okay? There's going to be something from the past that's going to come back and that can manifest as a person from the past that you know you've let go of. It can manifest as an old ideology or a mindset, habit, this or, or you know example i f this phone you want to throw it across the room you want to take it back and you want to go back to the old device okay it's it's like no something is going to come back you know or even like but here's another example even buying something brand new and then what happens some bill comes out of the woodwork you're like i'm gonna have to take back this brand new thing so I can actually pay for this old bill or whatever it is. I didn't even know what this was. I have this expense coming up. Now I have to take back this thing. It's something like that. Okay. What I'm suggesting to you is if it's any way possible, if it is that scenario, do whatever you can to not slip into that old mentality of lack or neglecting yourself or taking back something because it's like your soul or something wants to level up. It wants to move on. <clears throat> But there is always going to be something that's going to come back. Okay. It's up to you. That's how it's that's how this is showing to me this week. All right. I don't know. Whoever needs this message is going to know it's theirs. And they'll they'll understand perfectly what it is I'm talking about. So <laughs> again, it can be literal or metaphorical. All right. That's it. That's it. You know? There could, could there be like something that comes up that's unexpected, like an expense? Yes, but you know, you'll, you'll figure it out. You'll figure it out. Do what you got to do. But if at all possible, try not to revert back to old way, an old way of doing things. I'm not getting anything as far as love, romance, or anything like that. This is something that's probably far more important than something as literally, literally as pathetic as love this week. 
this is something much more great than just having somebody else to like, you know, wash your dishes for you or yell at or, get, or someone to get on your nerves. You know, somebody else to come in your home just to whatever. You know, this is much more important than something as minor as that. I realize love is not, is, is either, it's either top of your list or it's bottom of your list, okay? This week, it's gonna be on the bottom of the list because it's not as important. This is very important, okay? So, you'll know what I'm talking about. I, I guarantee you're gonna know what I'm talking about. It's gonna snap in, it's gonna snap right in place, okay? I'm gonna leave it there. And um, <laughs> that's it. So, <sighs> all right, Aries, good luck. And uh, give me a thumbs up, please. Subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. All right, uh, that's it. I'll, I'll see you next week.